كتاب الله دستوري وخير الخلق أسوتنا أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم الذين آمنوا ولم يلبسوا إيمانهم بظلم أولئك لهم الأمن وهم مهتدون رب الشح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي فالحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم قرآن ويكلي in the 82nd ayah of Surah Al-An'am, Allah Azza wa Jal tells us something Ibrahim alayhi salam said to the people, فَأَيُّ الْفَرِيقَيْنِ أَحَقُّ بِالْأَمْنِ إِن كُنْتُمْ تَعْلَمُونَ In the previous ayah, which of the two groups do you think deserves peace more? Internal peace more. And so this ayah is about people who attain peace in their life. You know, people suffer from all kinds of emotional imbalances, depression, sadness, uh, anger, anxiety, you know. How do you attain peace? And is there a relationship between faith and peace? Internal peace, even emotional, psychological states of peace. Allah says, الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَلَمْ يَلْبَسُوا إِيمَانَهُمْ بِظُلْمٍ Those who truly came to believe and did not disguise their truth or their, their faith with wrongdoing. In other words, wrongdoing is a disturbance in your, not just on the outside. When you do dhulm, you're disturbing something on the outside or someone on the outside. But in this ayah, beautifully, it is as though Allah is describing that when you do wrong to someone else, you've actually disturbed something inside of you. And then Allah says, if you're able to not do that, and not wrong others, and not do wrong, you know, not do injustice of any kind, أُولَٰئِكَ لَهُمُ amn. Those are the people that deserve peace. They'll have peace. They'll have peace inside of themselves. SubhanAllah. You know how many times we see nowadays that soldiers that come from war, that have witnessed atrocities, or in settings where there were no oversight, committed atrocities, or were silent witnesses to atrocities that their brethren committed, in, you know, during wars, they come back and commit suicide, or they have nightmares, or they're not able to have relationships, or they can't go to sleep, or they're all on kinds of medications, you know, PTSD and you name it, not just from physical trauma, Physical trauma is something else, but just from the emotional trauma of what they've experienced or what they may have even had to do, or they did and got away with. Well, they, they got away with it in the, in, sen in the sense of the authorities and the government and all of that, but their insides have been damaged. They don't have any peace anymore, and they can't live with that. There are people who commit any, any and all kinds of crimes, not just against other human beings, but people like, you know, for example, nowadays, subhanAllah, there are people that are in the entertainment industry, they're in the music industry, they're, you know, and maybe they're not even the top celebrities, but people that are, that are in a particular kind of industry that has to do with just sinning and just wrongdoing. You know, they're in the clubbing industry, they're in this, one of these dirty industries. These people have to literally stay on drugs to be at peace, because they're just, they're terrible to themselves and others when they're not in that state. They have to literally numb themselves away from reality to be able to cope, just to be able to cope, just to be able to deal, subhanAllah. Allah says, people who were truly have found faith, they found something they could not find in a club, they could not find it at a party, they could not find it in a drug, they couldn't find it in alcohol, they couldn't find that peace anywhere. You know, and for those of you that aren't into these terrible things, maybe you're just into entertainment, you're just watching movie after movie after movie after movie after movie, and it's just messing you up on the inside. It's just tearing you apart. And the only thing you can do is fill that empty space with more entertainment and more entertainment and more entertainment. It just doesn't stop. And one day you just decide, and Alhamdulillah Ramadan has come, so you decide to cut it, right? At least cut it down. Hopefully you cut it all together in this month. And then you go to the masjid and you feel this peace. And you haven't felt it in a long time. So you can tell the difference between the toxic waste you've been putting inside of you, spiritual toxic waste, and now this cleansing, just the listening to the Qur'an, just putting your head on the ground with everybody else. Just those few minutes even, what that does to you. You know at the beginning, when, you're, when you've been eating terrible food for a long time, healthy food tastes bad. So in the beginning when people come after a long time to a masjid, they're like, I gotta get out of here quick. Is there a moving plane nearby? Can I do, do that instead? You see a lot of people, young people especially, want to hang out outside the masjid. You know, they're, and they're all on their devices. Nobody's at peace, nobody's just sitting calmly. You know? This is what Iman does, it gives you calm, it gives you peace, you're not jittery, you're not disturbed, you're not just constantly in the need for some other fix, you know, whether, whether for your eyes or for your, you know, for your brain, for your tongue, you know, for your, for your limbs, you're not looking for that fix, you're just at rest, subhanAllah, 
أُولَٰئِكَ لَهُمُ الْأَمْنِ وَهُمْ مُحْتَدُونَ And they're the ones that are committed to guidance. In other words, Allah is saying that this without commitment, you're not, you're, it's only going to come and it's going to go. You're going to have to show some commitment to be able to hold on to that peace. Allah Azza wa Jal in another place in the Quran, He says, أَلَا بِذِكْرِ اللَّهِ تَطْمَئِنَّ الْقُلُوبِ You should know that by remembering Allah, hearts become calm. They become tranquil. They become at ease. And that's what this ayah is about. Wallahi, the world, every human being on this world, on this earth, is looking for peace. They're looking for tranquility inside of them. Something is bothering them and they just say to themselves, you know, you tell yourself, if I just had that, I'd be happy. And they put it in different words, I mean, being happy. If I just had this, if I had this much money, I'd be happy. If I got this girl, I'd be happy. If I had this car, I'd be happy. If I had this house, I'd be happy. If I lived here, I'd be happy. If I bought that device, if I had that video game, if I did this, if I did that. We always set these goals and say, I would be happy. And guess what? The ones you set for yourselves before and you said, you'll get there and you'll be happy, how long did it last? And then you moved on to something else that you, you couldn't find satisfaction in. This is the ayah that Allah Azza wa Jal teaches us it, through the words of Ibrahim Ali, some timeless words, right? If it was true back in the day, it's still true today. SubhanAllah. The people who can truly find faith and they don't replace their faith with wrongdoing. So even if you're Muslim, doesn't mean you have peace. Maybe you're replacing your faith with wrongdoing. You need to stop doing the wrong, cut that out of your life, and Allah will grant you the gift of peace. May Allah make us all the people of peace, and may Allah all make us all among al-muhtadeen. Barakallahu li wa lakum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Amantu billahi wa malaikatihi wa kutubihi wa rasulihi wa liyawm al-akhiri wa al-qadri khayrihi wa al-sharrihi min Allah wa al-ba'thi ba'd al-mawt La ilaha illa Allah Amantu billahi wa malaikatihi